Hello everyone, and welcome back to another school project disguised as an average YouTube video. Well, actually, I don't know if I disguised this one very well this time, but today I'm here to talk about how motion works. We're going to go over the basics first, and then talk about Newton's laws. Ugh, Newton. And then work our way up to some more complicated subjects. First of all, the basics. Position, velocity, acceleration, and force. Let's start with position. Position is the exact place where something has been located. It can be pinpointed through an x-axis and a y-axis with numbers. Velocity is the rate at which something moves positions in any given direction. Velocity magnitude, or speed, is referring to things like miles per hour and meters per second, which is typically the way that we talk about velocity in our everyday lives. Acceleration is very similar to velocity, except it's referring to the rate of which a velocity changes. For example, speeding up, slowing down, and changing direction. Finally, force, or mass times acceleration, is when an object interacts with another object or its surroundings that results in a push or pull motion. These four core ideals are used in Newton's three laws of motion, which are as follows. The first law of motion is that an object at rest will stay at rest or in a straight line of motion unless influenced by an external force. The second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object is entirely dependent on two variables, the net force that's acting on an object and its mass. As the force on an object is increased, the acceleration is increased with it. But if the mass is increased, then the acceleration begins to decrease. Finally, the third law of motion, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. That's probably the law you've heard people reference the most. By this point in the video, I'm sure you've noticed the clacking balls in the background. This commonly found desk decor is called a Newton's Cradle. The Newton's Cradle is a perfect example of an oscillatory system, which is a system slash mechanism that moves particles back and forth. Another prime example of an oscillatory system are sound waves. Sound waves move as a mechanical wave through the back and forth vibrations of the particles in the medium through which the sound wave is moving. Particles of air are displaced left to right as the sound wave passes through. This is the same thing that the Newton's Cradle does, but that's not the only thing it does. Newton's Cradle is also a great example of an elastic collision. An elastic collision is a collision that doesn't result in a net loss of kinetic energy in a system despite the collision. Things collide and bounce off of one another with no loss in speed using the conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum is the law that states that the motion of an object never changes while isolated in a collection. The total momentum of an entity remains the same regardless. This is what keeps the cradle going endlessly back and forth. I wanted to keep this presentation short and sweet, so if you'd like to learn more about motion and the laws of physics, please check out the link to my research paper in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, that's great! Please leave a like! But for those of you who got notified of this upload and watched anyways, despite not caring, first of all, thank you, but second of all, new content is coming soon, I promise. But a big thank you to everyone who watched, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!